Hey guys, Cecil here from Moonshot Games, and today we're looking at Taco Bell Party Pack Card Game. It's the board game that invites you to live mas. That's right, it's all the fun of Taco Bell and none of the guilt. Ready? Vamos! Well, the Taco Bell Party Pack Card Game from Robin's Burger Games comes with uh, some cards uh, featuring menu items that you're likely to find at your local Taco Bell. It comes with some cards featuring uh, characters. These are uh, the people that you have to serve as they come through the drive through at Taco Bell. And you get little tortilla chip tokens as well. It all comes cleverly packaged in what appears to be a, a Taco Bell party pack. Uh, you know, like one of those things you get when you get like 20 tacos and you take them home. Hey, it's a simple game, it's easy, and most of all, it's just fun to play. My daughter loves it and, and she's a vegetarian. I don't know if that has any bearing on the matter, but it's true nonetheless. So when you're playing Taco Bell Party Pack, uh, the goal is to earn the most points at the end of the game. So how do you earn those points? Well. You earn points by collecting crew member cards. You collect them by feeding that crew, right? So uh, for instance, uh, four matching new items will feed our friends uh, the happier hour hero. That will earn you five points. So uh, any four matching menu items, that could be uh, say four crunchy tacos, four cinnamon twist, etc. Uh, if you play that out of your hand, you get to take this card, add it to your pile, and you've earned five points at the end of the game. You've got these special action, special ability cards down here, your, your sauce packets, and uh, things like uh, open late where you can choose a menu item and your opponents have to give you a card that matches that menu item, that sort of thing. Now one thing to note is this bottom corner which gives you what this crew is craving. In this case, it's an icon image of the freeze drink. So if you get four matching menu items and they happen to be four of the freeze drinks, you then, in addition to getting the five points, you also get to collect a tortilla chip. In this case, I would earn one additional point. Again, I could earn anywhere from one to four on these tortilla chips. I would put both items over here in my stack. As another example here, we've got the Saucy Sidekick. She requires any three menu items and her craving is the chicken quesadilla. So if I come up with three menu items and one of them happens to be that chicken quesadilla, not only do I collect her two points, but I would get another tortilla chip, in this case, three points. Now that you know how to collect points, how does the game end? Well, it's very simple. Once all the tortilla chips have been collected by uh, the various people playing the game, the game is over, we count up the points, and we determine a winner. Okay, let's take a look at a sample round of the Taco Bell Party Pack card game. To begin with, you deal everyone 10 cards. Uh, you place the rest of the cards, the meal cards here, somewhere convenient within reach for everybody. You deal face up six of the crew member cards, and again, place the crew member cards somewhere within reach for everybody. And then your nacho chips, your tortilla chips, somewhere in the middle. That way we can all get to them. All right, the rules state whoever had Taco Bell last goes first. Well, I had Taco Bell last night, so there, I'm going first. All right, I'm looking at the board, I'm looking at my hand. Something jumps out at me right away. Uh, Nacho Cheese Champ only needs three different menu items, and if one of those menu items is the Crunchy Taco, then I get some bonus points. I'm gonna go after him. I will play these three menu items. I've got that crunchy taco to achieve that craving. I've got the bean burrito and I've got a freeze. I will play those here. And I will take the nacho cheese champ uh, because I achieved the craving. I get to draw a tortilla. I'm gonna go ahead and play this fire card while I'm at it. Feed a second member of your crew and I may play another sauce packet this turn. Well, I'll go ahead and play that sauce packet, which says, take a Crave Chip this turn, even if you didn't satisfy a craving. 
Well, I did, but I'm still gonna take another craving chip, this time for one. And I get to feed another crew member. One, two, three, four. I've got four menu items in, uh, well, they're matching. So I could go after the happier hour hero with my four matching menu items. One, two, three, four crunchy tacos. His craving is the freeze. Uh, obviously I don't have a freeze, I just have crunchy tacos, so I don't achieve the craving, but I still win this crew member and I earn five points at the end of the game. So I place those cards in the discard pile. Now I've got two empty spaces where crew members used to be. I need to replace those crew members and turn proceeds to the next player. Turns go like this around the table. When it comes back to me, I only have one card left, so I will draw back up to 10. So I will draw nine cards. Play continues in this manner until all the tortilla chips have been collected by the various participants in our game, at which point the game is over and we add up our points to determine a winner. Well, there you have it. Taco Bell's Party Pack card game from Robin's Burger Games. Listen, is this uh, a super intense game of strategy? Is it uh, very dense? No, not really. It's simple, but it's uh, it's a lot of fun. It's a great party game, right? I can imagine going to Taco Bell, grabbing a couple of party packs, bringing it back, and playing a few rounds of a uh, Taco Bell game here and just having a few laughs. It's simple, it's fun, it's easy to learn, and easy to play. That is Taco Bell Party Pack Card Game in a nutshell. Or should I say, a taco shell?